She's a James Beard award-winning chef, co-owner of multiple Seattle establishments, and the author of the new book, Get Away. Please welcome Renee Erickson, chef. Hello. Hello, chef good Renee. Morning. Welcome. Good morning. So oh nice God. to have you here. Thank Let you. me tell you something. I just want to bathe in this preserved <laughs> lemon. Pretty good. Mm. My gosh. I'm glad you recognized that. <laughs> well, I asked first. I was like, what's that? It smells nice. All right, Renee, Lovely. halibut and anchovy butter. That's what we're making? It's true. We start with the butter? We do. Okay. So, tilt your, yep, you got yep, it. Yep, I tilt that up. Uh, butter, room temperature, very important. Otherwise, it will take you forever. Okay. So, yeah, mm -hmm. slide that in and let's turn okay. it on. What? Doesn't love anchovies, but Mark, her husband, that. does. No, I, I'm used to anchovies. She's I'm, used to them. Used I'm to around them. anchovies. We're working on it. And I do love yeah. them. <laughs> so, yeah, don't put those on okay, yet. Okay, I don't do that. Hold I guess on. So. It smells so good. No? Yeah, so turn it on. And we, the idea is to incorporate a lot of air into it so it becomes soft and fluffy. So, Ooh. anchovies, mm. Kelly's favorite. Mm -hmm. um, these, need, these have been soaked. They're in salt, so they come in these big jars. You can also get them in oil. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you prefer them like I this? I like the salted ones. If you're going to like just eat the anchovy, which I love to Out do, the oil, get better. the fancy ones, yeah. like the extra fancy ones. Yeah. But yes. for, um, a little hot. Um, for, um, for this purpose, you can use the salted ones, and they're just really great. They're going to give a nice, like, super earthy, umami kind of flavor, so you want that, like, extra intensity. So, one in? Yeah, uh, let's chop them up first. This is going to get melted with the fish, so you don't want big chunks. Okay. Ready? Wait. Very good, Ryan. Watch your fingers. <laughs> I know. Careful, I know. dear. I slow down when I get I closer heard, to the fingers. Yeah. Dear. I heard there was an accident, so... Well, there was, but I've, I've Ryan healed. Ryan likes to live, leave a little piece of himself in everything we <laughs> eat, right? So generous. <laughs> yes. Can I so put yeah. this in now that it's chopped? Yeah, let's turn it down so it doesn't go flying all over. Okay. And then Chop, just Ryan. straight Chop. in. That's about six whole anchovies or 12 fillets. So. Yes, okay, um, very good. Use that. All right, so that um, would continue on. Capers, again, salted. These are these sweet little Italian capers. May they're I, may not I? pickled mm -hmm. like the ones that are in the vinegar, so they're going to taste more green and, and earthy. So you want to balance this out because it'd be too salty if you did too much of one of the yeah, other, Yeah, we're not right? going to add salt to this yeah. for sure. Okay, so I'm putting these <laughs> so. in, all of these capers? Uh, let's chop them. Chop them. Oh, my gosh, my favorite. Yeah. You know, he took some cooking classes at the CIA. I heard this. And now he thinks he's fancy. It's yeah. good. Why not, right? I don't mean to brag, but I do have a chef's coat that says fancy. Culinary Institute of Fancy. <laughs> That's fancy. So they don't have to be all chopped. Just give them a little bit of a... Okay. There we go. Thing. Nice little... Yep. Yep. Straight in. Again. Mm-hmm. And now I want to Missing crank my... up my machine. Crank up. Oh, not yet. Preserved lemon. Preserved lemon. He's like, I'm going. What if I don't have a preserved lemon? You can use a regular lemon. Thank so you. like lemon peel would be great, a little lemon juice. So cut it in half. And then the inside is all the, the flesh mm. of the lemon. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. But you can use it for something else. We don't want the flesh of the lemon. Not for this. So you want to like scoop it out with your fingers. Got it. Okay, so it comes that. Off. Super easy. It's good to have nails for that. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm here <laughs> doing the hard work. I love it. Um, so remove the flesh. And then... I feel like I have the skin of a preserved lemon. As <laughs> I'm sitting here feeling it, I'm like, this reminds uh, me of You're me. like familiar. <laughs> yes, I have a well-preserved well citrus, you. Kelly. Thank you for right. acknowledging. Okay, that's going in. All right, there's also, this is like a extra detail. There's the like pith of the yeah. lemon. Ah, so yeah. we don't want that either. So this is kind of, of this pith? is when you can show off your knife skills down yes, there. Yes, of course. And you just slide it flat. So you're going to go like this. And you're yeah. removing kind of mm, mm, that mm, part. Mm, 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 so all mm. you really want is the Oops. skin, which is that really fragrant, which you were describing as what you want to bathe in. So yes, this part, this yeah. it does smell like exactly an exotic something or other. <laughs> okay, go. I've all gotten right. rid of the pithiness. Pithy's so, gone. Oh. Excellent. In? Nope, got to nope. chop it. Nope, not in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just push enough? it back out? You're like, eh. You've been literally <laughs> tossing everything in there and then retrieving it. Here, I mean, sounds like you need a food processor yeah. instead of the blender. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. There you go. He's only had the um, one class at the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so far, he's learned how to hide a chip in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh -huh. They call it espionage. I call it a snack. That's right. Delicious. All right. Yeah. All right. So I cut mine into long strips. Yours are big, chunky ones. Well, Again, you're like going to eat this, so you don't want giant pieces, but you know, however you want it works. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Get going. Okay. I'm finally chopped. Now you, can I put it in? It. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Put it in there. I love it. Thank you, darling. Yes, you're welcome, honey. Excellent. All right. So, hey. Mom. Um, before we spin it, let's use our little spatula to give it a little. Turn. Okay. Yes, Kel, you like that. Just want to remind both chefs, I'm here at the ready. Should anyone need anything? <laughs> Kel, you're good at this part. Do I want to yes. mix it up? Ready Let to me go. What I Let do. me help you a little. Thank bit. you. Yes, I'm going to get into the fish. All right, so I'm turning it on. You're just going to let it go. So. All right, so that's going to go. Set. Now let's get the halibut started okay. before the break here. So. Now put it on and leave it on. How hot's yours? You it's, wanna, it's, it's hot. All right, let's okay. turn it down. Okay. So we're going to add the butter. Add the butter. Not all of it. Uh, butter. butter. The one you just made. Oh, this butter. This butter, the okay. anchovy, your favorite. Yes. Um, it, so when you're adding it, you want it, you can kind of test it to see like how, much how you want. crazy hot is it. Yours is probably pretty hot, but we can always add more butter. All right, so let's get that going. Okay, that's going. It's going. Yep. I added more than you did. Do you want some more? I'll put some more in there. Sure, why not? Sure. And this is something that halibut, if you're from the Pacific Northwest area, you know how much we love halibut. Yes. Seattle's like famous for salmon and crab. Halibut's something that I think um, kind of the whole world tends to love because it's <laughs> what do you see? No, I'm just do you ever have it just for the halibut? <laughs> uh, yes. And then I actually, that. No, sure, never, you never just that. stay home in your sofas and <laughs> try it. <laughs> You're like, how many times can we say this? I don't joke? know. I just say it every, <laughs> every time. time. I can't stop okay. myself. You're good. So yours is better than mine. Mine's a little slow, but um, it's starting to bubble, which is good, and melt. Okay. And you're going to take the top of the, the top side of your, the halibut, mm -hmm. and you're going to slide it into the butter. Okay, good. So we're going to, like, roast this in the pan, and uh, eventually we're going to be adding some um, Brussels sprouts and other herbs to it, too. So should we take we're a break? We're going to take we'll a break, that? and yeah. we're going to finish this up, and... Careful, this is hot. <laughs> Ow! We'll be Brian right back. just seared his hand to the pan. <laughs> we'll be right back. Where my answer? All right, we were snacking during the break. We're so. back with Renee Erickson. We are finishing up our halibut. Gelman just made an announcement that I think is complete BS. <laughs> he told us that he preserves his own lemons by burying them in the Gelman salt mine in the basement of his Long Island <laughs> compound for six months at a time. Is that right, Gelman? Of course. Yeah. Is that right? Take six months to is preserve them? Yeah, oh. at a minimum. Okay. All right, so halibut. Cook, uh, cooking. Halibut's cooking. So the final thing is we're going to add in the sliced garlic, the marjoram. Mm. I won't do the garlic, or you want the garlic? You can put the garlic okay. in, because uh -oh. mine is down there. Okay. I and like tons you... of marjoram, but yeah. if you can, peel it off the stock. Oh, okay. You so you, want, you like it peeled off the off I these. prefer it. Mine's yeah, okay. sticking, of course. That's great. Listen, I want to please you. And what about the Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts are the last thing. So we're just going to... Mm. Kelly, don't these splash when you put them in. They've been steamed already, so that they're going to cook... <laughs> With the halibut. So you've already sort of... Exactly. That's why you've been eating them over here. They're good. <laughs> right. You've He's already been eating them. You've also already flipped yours, so I'm going to mm -hmm. flip mine. Okay. Okay. And then into the oven. Into the oven. Super easy. And then... And then... Voila. It comes out like this? Comes out like that. Oh. <laughs> look at those Brussels, too. All right? Nobody knows that there is a hidden oven under it's here. <laughs> Magic, right? There's really a time machine. Magic. I love here. it. Uh, for Renee's okay. recipe and more information on her new book, Getaway, oh visit kellyandryan.com. Thank you, Kelly.